Hey there Pisces, welcome to my channel. I'm Shannon, I'm a tarot reader, a Western astrologer, a channeler, and I have a message meant especially for you today, Pisces. You stopped at this video for a reason. I'm gonna start with the Light Seers Tarot, I'm gonna move on to the Divine Animal Oracle and end with a little bit of wisdom from my Buddha Wisdom decks. I've got a Divine Feminine and a Divine Masculine deck I'm gonna pull from, so thank you so much for tuning in, Pisces. And let's see what message the universe is bringing forward for you today. Okay, so the card coming through for you, Pisces, is the Knight of Pentacles. Fabulous. You have got some energy coming your way towards your manifestations. You've got some earthly messages coming through. You've got some earthly abundance coming through. It is happening for you, Pisces. This is a great card to get. So the Knight is bringing some earthly energy into your existence, Pisces. So Pisces... You've got Saturn in your sign right now solidifying your dreams. You're a mutable sign. And this earth energy coming through for you is helping you bring your dreams into reality right now. Saturn just went retrograde and is backing up from about a little bit over seven degrees back to zero. And then it's going to go forward again. It's not actually going to leave the sign of Pisces. And this energy is meant to support you and it's going to bring through everything that you've been dreaming about and wishing and just hoping for and imagining Pisces. All of those things are getting ready to bust through into your earthly existence. And the universe just wants to tell you, hey, it's coming through, get ready, get into the receive mode. You have amazing things coming your way you are able now to create in a way that is completely new and different for you. The sun, the planets, our galaxy, our solar system is in a whole different part of space than it's ever been in before. And the earth is trying to upgrade and ascend and so are you, so are all of you us. You probably sense and see and know things that the other signs don't. You're able to feel it, um, whether or not you see it you're able to feel it and you know things. And um, this Knight of Pentacles just wants you to focus in on the actual things that you can do because this is earth energy. So it requires some action. Notice he's walking. He's, he's got that horse behind him that he's pulling with his stuff. This okay. requires you to move forward and it wants you to move forward. Now Saturn is backing up right now but it's just cleaning up anything you missed as Saturn went through the first seven degrees of your sign already. Whether it's your sun, your moon, your rising, Saturn's been trying to put some structure into your life in some way. It's This can be um, heavy energy. You could be feeling a little drained. You could be feeling like there's a lot getting onto your plate, but this is all faded things. This is all things that you had set up in your game before you even got here. This stuff was always meant to happen. And it is for your highest and best good. Saturn wants to be a teacher and Saturn might show up as a teacher or a guru of some type in your life. And um, the energy wants to help you become and be who you are meant to be who you came here to be. What was your plan before you got here? You know, your higher self knows. And the energy here is super supportive of this. So be scripting right now. Be literal when you're trying to manifest. Ask for what you want. Tell the universe what it is you're trying to get. Announce to the universe what all these pentacles stand for. What are all these things that you're asking the universe for? There's so much energy that's coming through for you, Pisces, to support any and all things that you're trying to manifest. So this is fabulous for you. All right, I'm gonna pull an animal oracle card and see what animal the universe is sending through to support this message. Nice. You're getting the sea otter, which is about transformation. That's what you're doing. You're transforming. So this 100% is in alignment with what, with what I was saying earlier about how you're trying to upgrade yourself, Pisces. You're trying to transform. You want to transform. Your higher self wants to do this. It wants to send you through this process. I'm going to read the, the book on this to see what's, what message the book has. Transformation is a true constant if we allow it. 
we can change our future and learn from the past. We should only try to transform ourselves, not someone else, as this is against free will. Do not judge others too quickly or harshly. Relax a little and rise. Ah, I love this. So this is, this is talking about changing yourself. Don't put your energy in trying to change other people. You can't control others anyway. They're gonna decide what they're gonna decide. And sometimes you have to be content with what it is that they're deciding. Whether or not it's something you would pick, you can only change yourself. You can only transform yourself. You have the ultimate control of that. So this message is absolutely about owning your power, owning your ability to transform yourself into the being that you want to be. So don't give your power away, Pisces. Don't give it away. Um, sometimes um, it's painful to transform, <laughs> right? Um, and you know, this whole idea of like, we can do it the easy way or we can do it the hard way, meaning we can go with it and know that we're being pulled into a transformation process, Saturn showing up to put some structure into our life so we can move forward. So absolutely go with that and don't fight that process. The more you fight it, the harder it is gonna be and the more you suffer, to be totally honest, the more you suffer when you fight it. This um, sea otter energy supports your transformative process. That's what is happening right now. The energy is here to help you to support you to put structure into your life so you can put a little bit of energy around those things you're trying to manifest and bring into your reality you know so your dreams can literally come true right now which is so fabulous for you Pisces all right so let's wrap this up with a little divine Buddha energy here a little divine wisdom from Buddha this is the divine feminine deck I'm gonna start with first so let's see what message is coming through here wisdom dispels ignorance blam that's it period, okay? Wisdom dispels ignorance. When we think about the difference between like wisdom and um, just like facts or knowledge, wisdom is about the ability to take the experiences that you've had before and learn from them, okay? Learn from them. And the transformation that the universe is trying to get you to go through right now actually requires your wisdom to get you to the place easiest. The universe wants to take the path of least resistance, to be honest, to get you to where you need to go. And if you're willing to ride the energy and use it and be wise and be thoughtful and be present and be mindful and own your power, <laughs> all of that stuff, then you can guide it in the sense of you create your reality, you decide what to respond to. You decide what trains of thought to follow. You decide what to expand upon. You decide whether or not to let yourself expand and grow and be wise. So this card just encourages you to dig into that. Use your wisdom here to help you through whatever Saturn is sending your way to help you transform. Okay, so let's hear uh, from this last deck here. This is uh, the Divine Masculine Buddha Wisdom. Um, before I get to that, thank you so much for watching. If this has helped you in any way, if this has resonated with you anyway, um, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Please leave me a comment. I'd love to know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to know your thoughts about what I'm talking about about transformation. What have you been feeling? Have you been feeling Saturn coming in and out of your life? I know I've definitely been feeling it. I'm, I'm a rising Pisces myself, so I for sure have felt that Saturnian energy in my life, trying to transform me, trying to bring a little structure into my life. Okay, so let's end with a little divine masculine wisdom. As long as you have unwavering faith, you are a truth seeker. Okay, so that talks about the faith that when you go forward to get answers and to move forward, it's gonna come. Like the wisdom's gonna come. Just trust yourself, you know? You, if you are a truth seeker and you truly are looking for truth and wisdom, you will find it, you will have it. The universe needs you to know how powerful you are and it wants you to know that you do have the ability to tap into that deep, deep wisdom within you, Pisces. That's one of your gifts here on Earth. So 
Thank you so much for listening. I'm sending you light and love and healing. And I will see you next time.